the, the interesting thing is, I mean, the reason, one of the reasons we asked for this interview is that you, you put it so, so clearly, the technology is now here already, there's no reason not to do business like this, um, whether or not you do it internationally or, or, or locally, because, um, well, we'll get to that, you can avoid the, the office cost. But also it's interesting, I think, that in, in, as far as I understand the Danish constitution, I mean, oral agreements, when they are agreements, are supposed to be legally binding. Uh, it's just that, well, for a long period now, we've, we've had writing, and that's become the, the standard. But as you say, this is so much more efficient. And as long as you don't want to disagree, why shouldn't it be enough of a you know, sure. recording of the conversation? All right. Um, when is the recording done? Was it done today, yesterday, or three weeks ago? And then what changes were done? done? That, I guess, is what's making it more so, complicated. Unless you specifically say the recording, the agreement we made on July 1 doesn't count anymore. Now it's this conversation count. If you can say that, well, then I guess it'll be just yeah, well, as binding as that. I mean, it, 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 well, if you imagine all these things that, that come, that's coming down the line, I mean, it's... It, well, you could imagine some sort of universal time code that every single device that logged onto the net would then, uh, you know, automatically click into uh, while also recording the uh, the location, and that would be saved as saved as part of this uh, recording file. But True, but the problem is, <clears throat> it's called UTC. It's already there. The problem is, we have access to the database. It's not to change it, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you can hack. You can hack anything. So, so. So uh, uh, you're right. I mean, no, no matter the the amount of, of technology, it will have to come down to trust. In the end of the day. At the end, of the day, in a way, yeah. You're right. All right. All right. Cool. Uh, the last thing I wanted to ask basically is: um, Do you have any good advice? Do you have any call to action to to young entrepreneurs, uh, people venturing into the the business world, or or already there but looking to perhaps grasp hold of this new technology and, and upgrade to the 21st century? Well, keep your costs down. Whatever costs you have, keep them variable so that you can, you can, you can cut them off altogether. Uh, uh, start in your basement, <clears throat> or if it rains too much in Copenhagen, then start in your, in your, in your attic. Um, forget about meeting rooms, forget about fancy MacBook Air computers, what have you not? Only buy what's necessary. Keep an eye. Cost, 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 cost. Keep your cost down. Keep your cost down. Keep your cost down. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, of course, you have to be hard working. Drop the holidays for a couple of years. You've got to have the right idea, and so on and so forth. But but that's that's a given. You know, uh, be innovative. Uh, try new things. Don't don't put all the eggs in one basket. If you can, if you can. If you can avoid it, but first and foremost, keep your cost down. Keep your cost down, and don't borrow money if you can avoid it. Because that way, that way, you know, you can, you can, you can, you can eat a, a, a bread for a couple of weeks. You, know, you survive, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but if you have a freaking office and, and, and which is which is rented on, on a three-year contract and meeting rooms and employees and, and what have you not, then it's more difficult if you lose a customer too. So keep your cost down, and whatever you have, keep it variable. That's. And then, of course, you got to believe in your idea, and you got to blah, 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 all that. But, but that's a given. All right. I mean, it almost sounds like you know an an old or ancient, archaic way of doing business that you recommend in this <coughs> high tech age. Don't don't think too big. Just do what you do. <coughs> it's okay to think big. It's okay to have big plans. But 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 but, you know. I can sit here right now, I have a very good idea, I think, right? <laughs> and I think it's going to be big, and I think I'm going to sell this 10 years from now for $100 million, right? And maybe it's going to happen, but it's getting from here to there, and it, there is only one way, that's hard work. And I realize that there are a few people in the, in the course of the, the history who were just so brilliant that did a few things for three months and then... They, 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 they earned a hundred million dollars, but for the rest of us, we have to work very, very hard, right? So, think big, sure, have big ideas and so on, but, but don't lose focus. I mean, just don't lose focus on the day-to-day -day operations. Keep your cost down, and whatever you have, keep it very well. So you can cut it off if you don't need it. And then, as the money come in, you know, 
each time you earn two crowns, you know, make sure you put at least 25 or 50 euro cents to the bank for, for a rainy day, because you will have a rainy day. 